All right, let's talk a little money right now. The Federal Reserve keeping interest rates the same. Yesterday, Fed Chair Jerome Powell announced that the federal funds rate will stay in the 5.25% to 5.5% range. Fed also announcing three rate cuts are expected this year. Well, hallelujah. Joining us now to discuss is Thomas Hayes, Chairman and Managing Member at Great Hill Capital. Thomas, good to have you with us. How are you doing? Thanks for having me, Chris. Glad to be here. So it seems like for the greater part of about the last two years, every time Jerome uh, hit the stand or the microphone, everybody was like, oh, here we go. <laughs> but what was your reaction to obviously his remarks yesterday? And, and uh, based on what your reaction is, we saw how it obviously reflected on the market. Yeah, this was a positive surprise, Chris. Uh, this was slightly more dovish than the street had anticipated. There was a risk after the last two inflation reports that they might take down the dot plot, the estimates of cuts from three to two. As a matter of fact, half the FOMC members did want to reduce it down to two, but the majority won. They kept it at three cuts, and that's going to provide relief for a lot of people looking for mortgages and interest expense uh, towards the back half of the year. It's a positive outcome. So anybody from a mortgage standpoint, I know we talk housing all the time and obviously the economy goes as the housing market goes for the most part. Are you looking at people who are refinancing or first home buyers probably waiting better into the late to the fall or so to really get a better, a better deal on, on uh, interest rates? Yeah, I think rates will come down gradually, but the market can start to price that in and we should see in coming weeks a little bit of relief uh, when you look for refinancing or new mortgage rates. So that will be a positive thing, auto financing, et cetera. Uh, the market will price that in. The other thing that was uh, really surprising and stood out was that he signaled they were going to taper the taper. What does that mean in English? They were going to stop selling bonds on the open market. And when they reduce the supply that they're putting on the market, that enables rates to also compress. So all in all, this is really good news, uh, not only for Main Street, but more importantly for Wall Street, uh, yeah. for, for Main Street. Yeah. You know, it, it's funny too, you hear a lot lately, there's been a lot of politicians saying, are you better off now than you were four years ago? Well, yesterday the Dow closed with another record high, over 39,000, four years ago to the day, 19,000. Now, of course, we know that was when the pandemic first hit, but it just kind of goes to show you the tale of two cities from now until then. For the, the average mom and pop at home right now who's sitting on a 401k savings, this and that, this kind of news and the market where it is right now, what does it mean to them? Well, I think it's very constructive for Main Street. Uh, this was certainly good news. You saw the market liked it yesterday, a little bit of follow through today. We have moved a lot in a short period of time. We're working on 19 out of 21 consecutive weeks up. So it wouldn't surprise me in coming weeks uh, that we get a little bit of breather. But what we see when we look back to 1928 on average, election years are up 11.28%. So while we may get a breather in general indices in the short term in coming weeks, I do think for the year, very, very constructive and any weakness could be opportunity to add. Uh, so Thomas, let me ask you this. I, I mean, I know a lot of people are looking at those numbers saying, hey, wait, 40,000 is, is it kind of right on the door, knocking on that door. Is that something you, you foresee in the next couple of weeks potentially? Yeah, look, we're going to get there, whether it's the next couple of weeks or the next couple of months. The, the key is what we saw in the, the Fed estimates, even they took GDP estimates up from December. They had anticipated we'd grow GDP at 1.4 percent. Now, just a few months later, they're saying we're going to grow at 2.1 percent. They took their estimates of unemployment down from 4.1 percent to 4.0 percent. So the data is telling us good things are happening. We just saw it in earnings season. They expected earnings to grow 1 percent. We grew 3.3 percent. So that's a big deal. So, Thomas, when you hear people that are either polled or people that are just reacting and saying that the economy is a major concern of theirs right now, what do you say to them based on all of the numbers that you're seeing and the numbers that we've just discussed? I think relief is on the way. I think the, the bulk of people who are feeling that on Main Street, uh, certainly in terms of uh, uh, prices of, of food, et cetera, those are starting to moderate. We want to see some moderation in housing and owner's equivalent rent. That works on a lag basis. I think we'll start to see that in coming months. Little relief when you go to finance a car, little relief when you go to 
finance a house or refinance a house. And I think that's going to be a story of the next two years. Yeah, you may get a mortgage now. It's going to be a little bit lower, but maybe in a year it's going to be even lower again, and then you can refinance again. So more and more relief on Main Street, and I think people will, will be feeling better. Thomas Hayes, thank you very much. Greatly appreciate it. We'll see. I know Dow Futures were uh, up about 100 points uh, about 15 minutes ago. I'm not sure where it stands right now, but hopefully another uh, update on the street, and we appreciate you taking a few moments for us. Good to see you. Thank you, Chris.